Let's make sure the sound is going. Here we are. All right. Well, hello, everyone. Uh, as much as you may think that Sarah and I are always uh, connected in the same world, we are, but Hollywood Square fashion, we usually see our face in. So this has been such a delight because we're both here physically in San Antonio at really a unique event, uh, the Journey On Summit. And uh, it's been a thrill for me to actually hook up with my partner in crime on the Equiscience projects and to get to experience this and process it together. So uh, here we are, and uh, we kind of want to fill you in on that. And then we'll talk a little bit about what the future holds. Awesome. Yeah, it's been a lot of great fun being here, Steve. People have been really surprised. They're like, so how long have you and Steve known each other? Well, a year, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> um, you know, and it feels like it's been a lot longer, hasn't it? Yeah, we, yeah. we have a, a long distance virtual relationship is what we have. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's funny because we haven't had a chance to do anything in person yet. And so we were just talking about how the next time we'll probably be in person will be at our retreat in 2024, which seems so far away, but I know is coming up pretty soon. It'll be over in a in a flash, I'm sure. So, um, but it's been really great to be here. And it's I, been fantastic. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. the the equiscience piece, the the what's in the most immediate future is our uh, the neurobiology of learning class that we're gonna do. And that's already gotten a lot of uh, enthusiastic support from the people we've run into here. So I'm hoping that a large number of you can join in. Uh, this is a brand new class and it's, a, it's an interesting topic that I think uh, Mm -hmm. everybody will benefit from definitely a lot of the themes and conversations that have been having over the course of this journey on summit we're like ooh, ooh, come join our mm -hmm. come join our class in december because we're going to get to have a bit of a dive on that um and go deeper with that these topics mm -hmm. yeah and you can see that we're both presenters here and that's been unique uh sarah's brought her own unique uh window of of uh, what she does and the trauma-informed piece that uh, really resonated with the, with the crowd here. And I've been able to bring my piece of the neuroscience. And I talked about my being on the spectrum. So this has been a real growth opportunity for us as presenters as well. I think we've learned as much as the audience. Yeah, everyone has such wonderful things to share. And I think one of the things that we've we've been really appreciating about this whole event is just the vibe that's in the room and just how all the speakers have brought a similar message to the crowd. And the crowd is really receptive to that message. And it's been feeling like a real sense of community. Yeah, I think the uh, the you couldn't do this in an empty room. The, the audience brings this, this energy and the, the feeling, Sarah and I were talking about this just mm -hmm. before recording, that the, the feeling is that there's a big paradigm shift, mm -hmm. that people are starting to look at the world differently, relationships, not just uh, with horses, but human as well. So we kind of have, it just evolved with, with, uh, the message that you and I mm -hmm. put out together, because that whole idea seems to have taken hold everywhere. So yeah. that's why I it's cool when I run. We've ran into a number of students here um, at the at the summit, and they're feeling the same sort of thing. So um, I invite everyone who has a horse who who is a human. <laughs> uh to join us in this it is a journey and it's a you know it's never ending it's an and most of the people that sign up i know are just insatiable learners and so it makes it such a privilege to be able to share the information we share with them mm -hmm. and it's it's been really a, i think a real privilege to be in this movement of hey like what is it that we can look at in ourselves that can grow and heal and shift to help our horses have a different experience, you know, of us and also of themselves. And this 
and each of the presenters has had a different version of embodying that, you know, from you sharing your personal journey of being a neurodivergent person and, and me sharing my experience of being a neurodivergent therapist with a trauma history yeah. and who doesn't have trauma, you know, and then how do we start to be curious and compassionate towards the stuff on the inside that affects what happens on the outside, you know? Yeah, you know, I, I like, if you don't mind, for you to just share the idea, uh, mm -hmm. because Sarah stood up before the group and, and put them through an exercise of this idea of a connected matrix that's portable that you carry within your yourself. And I, I like feeling that with the students who have been in our in our classes. So if you wouldn't mind, maybe just speak to that a little bit, because I thought it was a powerful message. It was a really important moment because I was remember I was feeling the the, the sense of the vibe in this community and the, the shift. And a lot of people talked about how the ground feels unstable and something is quaking inside and there's something shifting and moving inside of everyone who's here. It's been a real phenomenon. Like I, it's almost hard to put a finger on it or to find words to describe what these three days have been like. Um, but it's it's been really powerful. And I led the group through um, the, the audience through a, an activity this morning as a way of connecting with some of that felt sense of that connection um, on the inside, what changes in their body when they feel that sense of connection, and then noticing how their body holds that experience, and then noticing that matrix of support, as my teacher Kathy Kane likes to call it, this network of people and animals and beings and ancestors and whomever supports you and surrounds you and your body as your body holds and surrounds what you have on the inside. And then from there, stepping out a step and going into recognizing that every one of those animals and people and beings who make up your matrix also has a matrix of support. And that extends back generations. And when we sit with um, the felt sense of the support of those layers, something happens inside where we feel more connected and more ease. And there's this sense of cohesion or social coherence. And we're we're meant to get along, we're meant to be in connection. That's what this human being is all about, is we're mammals that are herd creatures and we're meant to be in, in good relationship with one another and horses are too. And, and it's just such a beautiful thing when this starts to happen. There was no real, like for the, for the most part, it was like everyone got along this weekend. It was really beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I think that, uh... This social network, this social web, and I don't mean a yeah. a network of friends. I I mean a network of of beings yeah. that um, that resonate and and uh, there's a a limbic, emotional, somatic uh, piece to this that that words just don't quite. In fact, you can get lost in the words, and I think yeah. this really confirms for me that that we're along the right track of doing this as a retreat where it's mm -hmm. experiential, where you come in and you feel these things and you can process these things and you can go for walks. And, and uh, we, we purposely found an environment that's conducive to a wellness, to a restorative, to a safe environment to explore more deeply, but on a, a felt sense instead of a a thought sense. Yeah. And it'll be a nice mix of the two because there's going to be the lectures and the learning <laughs> at the retreat in 2024. Um, but there's also going to be opportunity for personal healing and transformation and growth and all these other things to emerge as well. So we're really excited about, about yeah, that. Yeah. You're never going to get shorted on the science when it comes to Sarah <laughs> and I. Uh, that's just part of the package. <laughs> <laughs> This is true. And yet it's so much more than that. And I think that's what I like about our collaboration is that we can both get into our info dumping and our and our, our hyper focus with the stuff that we do. And then and then there's the embodiment of it and then dropping down a layer and going, OK, so there's all this really cool head stuff that's really fun. And then and then what happens in the body and how do we actually take that? and sense into it and make the learning more real mm -hmm. because otherwise it's just head stuff and we know the healing doesn't happen just at the level of head academics academics is great i'm a big academic nerd but like it's it's more than that you know it has to be embodied in order for it to take root you know? so the science gives you mm -hmm. some of the why so yeah. you know sometimes the science what it does is just gives you an idea 
a more objective idea on how much we don't know. Yeah. And sometimes that is really, uh, it's not, uh, it's the beauty to me that we, we don't know everything, mm -hmm. even though we think we do. And so we want to give you the, the why, but then explore that in an applied way mm -hmm. where you can take that information, that knowledge and, and create your own scaffolding, create your own brain connections. What I, we can guarantee you is that anything that you do with the two of us, because this happens just when the two of us meet without anybody, <laughs> is there'll be a lot of new brain firings and wirings and rewirings. Uh, you can take that for granted. Uh, when you go back to your room at night and you still feel the fireworks up there, well, you, we know we've done our job. <laughs> And then, and then, and then what happens, what starts to happen in the nervous system and what starts to happen through all the layers of your existence and yourself and what starts to shift and expand. So it's almost like this brain that we have is part of a larger system, mm -hmm. you know, and, and how do we connect with all of that? So it's not just this cool brain firing, but like the brain firing, there's, there's neural cells in other places in the body. I mean, there's neural cells in the heart, there's neural cells in the gut. Right, in the right? gut. And there's, so it's like, oh, like, so for me, it's like, wow, like how are all these brains, <laughs> you know, resonating and integrating the material. And so, and though, although we don't have anything in person again until 2024, we do, however, have our masterclass that's starting in, February, in January, actually. Um, yeah, the, January, the, master the new class masterclass again, that's coming starting up. Starting in January, so you know what that's, uh, seven modules. Yeah. Um, and you can go to the, the uh, website and read all about that and what those are. Uh, for those who, and those who haven't, it's not dependent on on the previous class, mm -hmm. but our focus class on the neurobiology of learning. Um, and a lot of people are learning themselves and they're training their horses. And so what's going on neurochemically, what's going on at the cellular level? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't want to speak for Sarah, but you know there are there are th learning theories that we can explore. So I think that's, uh, a sort of a one day, but you'll be able to watch that afterwards at your convenience. But one day that's just going to be chock full of information and, and leave you with a good sense of how we learn, um, not just rote book learning, but mm. how we, we perceive and assimilate information and hold information mm. over time. Mm -hmm. And that'll lead nicely into the masterclass in January. So like you were saying, seven months, seven modules, um, and they build on each other. We're doing the same masterclass that we just did in 2021, 2022 with some updated material. Um, and it's always a little different every time because the students are different. There might be returning students. There's going to be new students and the questions are different every time. So in some ways, the material is different every time because the questions we get are different every time and we teach to the questions as well. So um, and then module seven, after we've gone over neuroanatomy and neurochemistry and trauma and attachment and the nervous system and we get into some polyvagal theory and we get into some um understanding of developmental trauma, and we look at how this impacts relationships and learning and performance and all these kinds of things, um, we can look at case applications. So we invite you all to send in your questions. There's live questions every module because we're showing up live. This is not a prepackaged program. Right. We're showing up live every single class. Um, to answer your questions and teach on some really cool stuff that we really nerd out about. Um, and then module seven, though, is really case application. So you're sending us videos, you're sending us case stories, questions that you have permission to share. Um, and then we kind of unpack that from the lens of what we've talked about in the master class and learned in the master class. Yeah, and we realize that a number of our students are professionals in their own right. They're trainers, they're teachers, et cetera. And so for an opportunity to take all that you've learned and then your chance to to present your case for the class to weigh in on um, creates a, you know it's an organic field you, mm -hmm. it's not set in stone but it, it uh, allows you to see how far you've gotten in your learning and how much you've been able to uh, to put together so um, we both spent a a lot of time and feel really strongly about 
what we've brought to this. You know, it's hard to read the peer reviewed literature and understand it. It's hard to go in, you know, somebody says, well, look at these scientific studies and you get so lost in the jargon, you don't have a clue what they're saying or if their conclusions are even correct. So Sarah and I have read through this stuff. Sarah's writing a, a science-based book. So she's had to validate all the things that, that she's uh, putting in the book. So we've gone through that and then we're gonna translate that into understandable English and investigate what that really means. Mm -hmm and how important or unimportant certain studies are. And I think if you talk to any students that have taken the previous courses, what they'll say is that, gosh, you know, this is so research-based, but it's applied with lots of examples uh, to, to open a new window. And that's really what we want to do. We want to give you a lens in, in, in which you can appreciate this and make the learning your your own and this is what people routinely say is just you know even though it's a master class and it's a it's a short sort of intense crash course on a lot of things that we find really essential um you know it, it's still really transformational and people keep telling us this is like this has changed my way of looking at things it's changed my own understanding of myself it's changed my understanding of my my animals <laughs> and my my human to human relationships as well and so we find it's a really um, powerful combination of, of knowledge yeah. um, and application. So it's again, not just head stuff, but also like, hey, we're inviting you to go a little bit beyond just the head and, and what's happening inside for you. So yeah, I and you can tell me when we finish this, this class up, whether you think that's true, but I don't think you'll look at the world in the mm -hmm. same way. Mm -hmm. I think you'll, it'll change who you are, and it can't help but, because when I learn things, that's exactly what happens for me, is that I'm, I'm rewiring my brain and creating a greater network of knowledge. And uh, that's our, our purpose, that's our mission really, is uh, to take what we have and combine it. What Sarah brings to the relationship with, with me, I, I feel that the, the two parts added together create a much greater sum than I could do alone. I think mm. that synergy, we felt it from the very beginning, really motivated us to, to bring that together and share it with, with everyone. Yeah, I feel the same way. So I'm really excited. So if you haven't registered yet for the Neurobiology of Learning course in December, please do so. Um, there's still some spots left. We've got the masterclass registration, which just opened on November 4th. So we're really excited about that as well. Those of you who are super keen about our retreat in February 2024 in a year and a half, um, registration has not yet opened up for that because we're still a ways out and we're still hammering out the details. But the dates are on the website, so please save the date if you are interested because those dates are set in stone and we will be seeing you, for those of you who are interested, at Apache Springs Ranch in Arizona. Uh, in the dead of winter, which will be lovely and warm there. So I'm very excited about that. Um, and at uh, it's in Apache Springs Ranch, if you want to take a look, it's a fantastic facility, uh, really world-class, and we're really excited for um, the opportunity to connect in person. Um, and there's horses there. We'll have a chance for experiential. Um, a number of our Equisoma training assistants are going to be there on hand that you can have. Uh, they'll, they'll be there to help hold the space and the regulation and the connection, all of them are trained in somatic experiencing and various other um, approaches to help with trauma. Um, and so if you're interested in that, they'll be there as a supportive container. Um, and they're also there going to be there for hiring their services if you want some one-on-one -on -one personal time um, to help process whatever is coming up for you. So it, we're really excited. It's a safe spot yeah. and, and really uh, resonates with wellness. So Mm. We're wrapping up here at the Journey On Summit. Uh, it's been a delight to be able to actually be in the same room as Sarah. She's actually out the door to catch a flight back to, to Canada. And uh, so we're wrapping up here and we hope to see you again real soon. Definitely. Thanks so much, everyone. Equiscience.com. Come check us out. <laughs>